Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, nice to meet you. In this video, I'll be taking you through a full day from start to finish where I'm putting the house back to rights, doing some prep in the kitchen, and cooking and baking throughout the day. It's one of those days that we press the reset button so we have a peaceful and calm week ahead. So let's put on our aprons and head into the kitchen. I'm SB and this is SB Living. At least twice a month, I bake two big loaves of sourdough bread. I do have to plan ahead a bit because I use an overnight bulk rice method, so I'm not necessarily baking the bread today. This will be for tomorrow, but for now, I need to feed the sourdough starter that I keep in the fridge. I usually have two containers, one for a more active starter and another for any leftover discard. This starter has been going on for over a year now and it's been through weeks of abandonment at a time. I'm still amazed at the number of times I've brought it back to life and sometimes it takes a few feedings and at this moment this would be feeding number three. I'm going to let it ferment throughout the day so it's ready for when I whip up the dough before going to bed tonight. I use one cup of regular plain old flour and two thirds cup of water, mix it up and keep it nice and warm. Before I get cooking, I get the laundry started. On regular work weeks, I do all the loads on Friday night after I come home from work with towels and bed sheets for Saturday or Sunday. I have an extra large washer and dryer to make sure I don't waste time or water. All in all, I would say there's about five or six loads of laundry that get done between Friday night and the weekend. That's myself and my three girls, not including my husband's clothes because he insists on doing them himself, which I'm totally okay with. Once everything is dry, everybody folds their own clothes. On these days, it's easy to get caught up on trying to get everything done as quickly as possible. Been there, done that, but I am trying really hard to just let time pass. Do not forget to eat well. This is lunch and I'm sauteing a large bunch of Swiss chard that I'm still able to get from the winter garden outside. It has a good helping of olive oil, garlic, salt, and pepper. While the Swiss chard is wilting in the pan, I'll be beating a few eggs and mix it right in. And all of this will be piled on top of a few pieces of toasted Italian bread. It's a very old country dish, probably only found in the homes of farmers or fishermen in the mountains of Italy, but it's food I grew up with, so it's something I'll enjoy. At the beginning of every new year, it's customary for many Mediterranean families to cook up a big batch of lentil soup. The first video I ever made on this channel was how to make lentil soup and since then I've made it so many times. The recipe for this soup and another step-by-step -step video I'll link in the description and the tag above, but my biggest advice is use what you have. You may not have all the ingredients on hand to make the soup the same exact way every time and that's totally okay. It's actually designed to not be an exact science. Lentil is one of the world's oldest and most nutritious foods and has its roots in both the Middle East and the Mediterranean, even in parts of Asia and Africa. It's a food that spans through time and I kid you not, every time I make this, I feel like I'm taking part in some ritual where I'm calling out to my ancestors. It's so weird, but we have something that does that for us and making this soup is one of them.
While the soup is simmering away, there's dinner to prepare, and I'm attempting to make a version of my father-in-law's oxtails and rice. I'm a natural when it comes to Mediterranean cooking methods, but for West Indian or Jamaican cuisine, I'm still learning. If you have any tips, please share them below in the comments. We weren't able to get to the Jamaican spot to pick up oxtails. They're typically sold for much cheaper than in the market, so I did the next best thing and purchased some larger hind shanks. To me, it's a cut of meat that I would make also buko with, so it will do. The flavor base is garlic, ginger, and onion. I'm also adding in some celery and carrots from the garden outside. By this point, I'm just trying to fight my need to bulk up my stew with vegetables and broth. I'm adding in some flour to make it thick, and then the meat, beef bouillon, and pimento are all spiced berries. The lid goes on, and then it's off to do other things. At the making of this video, I had hoped to make rice and peas, but we didn't have any kidney beans ready to go, so coconut rice it is. I didn't do a great job with this rice, I'm not used to cooking rice in a pot. Stick around for the end of the video to see how this came out, and even better, tell me how to cook rice in a pot in the comments, please. These big reset days aren't complete without some sort of dessert. This is a pumpkin and chocolate swirl pie, and yes, I know it's not the holiday season anymore, but I do have cans of pumpkin to cook through, so this pie is happening. It's a pretty standard recipe with the pumpkin puree and evaporated milk with the usual sugar and spices. The difference is that about a quarter of the mixture will be mixed with cocoa powder. I do have to make two of these pies at a time because one will go in one sitting with my family, then the other for another time.
graham cracker crust is typical, but again, I use what I have, so these regular pie crusts will do the trick. The swirling method is simple, there's no magic to it, just drop the chocolate mixture into different spots and mix it with a skewer or toothpick. By the end of the evening, there was only the dough to put together and clothes to fold, only for the next day to come with its own tasks. Would I say I accomplished everything from start to finish today? No, but it's impossible to do everything all at once and in one day. There's always more to do. So if you're looking to do your own reset day, just remember, take your time, do your best, remember to eat well, and know that there's always tomorrow or another day. Subscribe, like, and comment for more content like this one. See you next time.